Okay, here's Mulhall in the Optics Lab for Physics 270. Hey, it's Trunkiel here. Now we're going to show you how you can measure the index of refraction of air with the Michelson interferometer. And this is a very impressive measurement because the index of refraction of air is very close to 1. The index of refraction of a vacuum is actually 1.000 by definition. The index of refraction of air is something like 1.0002 something something something. So we're going to measure the digits after all those zeros. It's a very small number. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to put a, we're going to, this time we're going to use the interferometer in a new way. We're not going to move this mirror like we were by changing the, by, by um, uh, pushing the mirror back with this micrometer and the lever underneath it. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to effectively change the optical pattern in a new way. We're going to change <coughs> the index of refraction of part of the light's journey. When the index of refraction increases, the wavelength uh, in decreases in that part, so you can fit more wavelengths in to this uh, piece of the journey. Nick is going to show us, uh, this is going to be put into uh, the one of the arms of the Michelson interferometer, and so the light is going to, part of its journey, it's going to go through this air cell. And we can remove air from the air cell with a hand pump. So when we remove air, we make the index of refraction closer, closer, closer to 1. And when we do that, there's uh, less and less and less wavelengths fit in, and then our criteria for interference over here has changed, and so we'll see fringes. Okay. Right. So when you put that air cell in, it, it seems like it kind of magnifies it, so that center red dot there is kind of the center of the bullseye pattern. So when I turn this switch so that I could start removing air from the system, watch what will happen to the fringe count. So what you're going to do is every time you squeeze the hand pump, Oh, and see what I did just there? I didn't have the knob set in the right spot. You want to make sure this knob is fully over to that side. So every time that you remove air out of the system, you're going to read a pressure off of here and count the number of fringes. So you're going to make sure you pull this trigger slowly. So watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did that a little fast. And then you're going to have a pressure reading off the gauge. You're going to Write that down as an ordered pair, all right? So then what you're going to do is you're going to pump some air out again and get a new pressure reading and count the number of fringes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, that kind of looked like five and a half fringes, so you'll have to use your judgment about what number you put down, and then you'll have a new pressure reading. Now, what you're going to do with those ordered pairs, you should be figuring out by looking at your procedure. Other than that, uh, Isaac Newton was a great physicist, too. See you later.